let's ride around southwestern Idaho's Treasure Valley today and get a feel for the towns that make up the Boise metro area. Boise is the place to start, of course. Not only is it Idaho's capital city and largest town, but it's also the financial anchor for the entire Treasure Valley. First things first, it's Boise, not Boise. If you pronounce it Boise, you instantly mark yourself as a non-Idahoan. Idahoans are pretty forgiving folks, but we sure hate to hear the name of our capital city mispronounced. Boise is large enough to have many distinct neighborhoods. The downtown area is, of course, an urban environment with many apartments, condos, and older homes. Some of the older homes have been beautifully restored, while others are more in the fixer-upper category. The state government offices tend to dominate the downtown area, but there are also lots of small, locally-owned shops, restaurants, and pubs. Lots of parks are found in the downtown area along the Boise River, giving you easy access to our spectacular 25-mile Greenbelt. Living in the downtown area may give you the opportunity to walk or bike to work. Moving on, one of Boise's best-known neighborhoods is the North End. This is the area just north of downtown, featuring tree-lined streets and many gorgeous homes from the early 1900s. Many of them have been beautifully restored and have prices to match. The North End remains reminds many people of the classic American neighborhoods from their youth. Don't expect to find many attached garages in the North End. A lot of people park on the street or in the alley behind their home, or they may have a small detached garage behind the home. If you're looking for a home with an ADU, that is an auxiliary dwelling unit, such as a mother-in-law suite or short-term rental, the North End is a pretty good place to look. Many of the homes have basements that have been converted to separate apartments or an ADU has been built above the detached garage. High above the North End on the way to the Bogus Basin ski area, you'll find the Boise foothills. The homes in the foothills have incredible views and incredible prices to match. If you enjoy a spectacular view and don't mind paying for it, a home in the foothills may be ideal for you. Moving back south of town, we come to the depot bench. The depot in question is Boise's classic mission-style train depot at the end of Capitol Boulevard. The bench, as the name implies, is up on a plateau above the downtown area. Many homes on the bench tend to be from the 1930s and 1940s, and quite a few of them are fairly small. Nonetheless, they are in demand because of their proximity to the airport Boise State University, and the downtown area. Moving west from the depot bench, we find mid-century ranch-style homes in the area known as the West Bench. The West Bench hasn't yet seen as much renovation as the depot bench, and you can expect to find classic three-bedroom, two-bathroom homes with decent-sized lots in this area. Southeast of the bench area, but north of the freeway, is an area of new and newer homes which began to spring up when Micron built its large fabricating facility there several decades ago. Southeast Boise offers not only easy access to Micron, but also to the freeway and the airport, not to mention the amazing Idaho Shakespeare Festival and Lucky Peak Reservoir. The final Boise neighborhood that we want to look at is known as Unincorporated Ada County, which is a large area south of the freeway that used to be mostly farms. It still has quite a few farm homes on parcels ranging from one to five acres, but mostly it has a lot of tract homes and subdivisions of semi-custom builds. This area blends into the small farm town of Cuna, which now has mile after mile of housing, as well as easy access to the freeway and to the much larger town of Meridian. Moving on to Meridian, this is one of the fastest growing small cities in the entire United States. Meridian offers many, many housing choices, from small, older homes in the downtown area to hundreds of apartments near the shopping mecca known as The Village. Subdivisions range from million-dollar homes built around a golf course to starter homes, tracked subs, and plenty of beautiful semi-custom subdivisions. Meridian offers easy freeway access, one of the largest hospitals in the valley, and plenty of opportunities for shopping and dining. Let's backtrack a bit to the tiny town of Garden City. 
which is surrounded by Boise on three sides and the growing town of Eagle on the fourth side. The river and the Boise Green Belt run through the center of Garden City. The town has been seeing a lot of urban renewal over the last decade, with older mobile home parks being replaced by trendy condominiums and townhomes. Wineries and art galleries are a new attraction in Garden City. You can also find a lot of 55 plus housing in this charming little town. If you want to have a small town vibe, easy access to the Green Belt and to the freeway connector, Garden City is a great choice. The final Ada County cities that we want to check out are Eagle and Star. Both of these towns were unincorporated bumps in the road until fairly recently. Now Eagle has one of the highest property values in the entire state of Idaho, and Star is growing rapidly to catch up with Eagle. Beautiful homes, a sprinkling of farm acreage properties, and charming downtown areas have made Eagle and Star very popular. The Boise Greenbelt runs through both communities, finally ending in Star. Homes by the river tend to be high-end, and some of the Treasure Valley's few gated communities can be found in this area. If you're looking for a gated community, Eagle and Star would be a good place to start. Well, let's move on to Canyon County. A lot of people live in Canyon County to take advantage of the less expensive housing prices, but drive into Boise and Meridian in the mornings to work. Nampa and Caldwell are traditional farming towns, but both have seen incredible growth over the last two decades. Subdivisions of all types have popped up in and around both cities as far south as Lake Lowell and spilling over the freeway to the north. Nampa and Caldwell also have quite a few well-kept manufactured housing parks. Both towns have a college or university, adding vibrancy to the urban core. Small family-owned businesses and restaurants, as well as large national names like Costco, Walmart, Panera, and Olive Garden can be found throughout Nampa and Caldwell. Just south of Caldwell is the Sunny Slope area, the heart of Idaho's wine-growing country. Other small towns dot Canyon County, from Wilder and Melba to Middleton, Parma, and Notice. Agriculture is the focus of these small towns, from vineyards to hops, potatoes, corn, onions, and cattle. Most housing is still fairly old in these towns, with the exception of Middleton. Middleton's proximity to Caldwell and the freeway means that it has been growing quickly over the last decade, with plenty of new semi-custom homes being built. Finally, let's take a drive over Freeze Out Hill to look at Little Emmett. Emmett is a traditional fruit farming and lumber milling town that has served as a bedroom community for Boise for many years. Housing tends to be an interesting mixture of small, older homes in the center of town to 1960s ranch house subdivisions, and finally, new builds all around the valley, from custom and semi-custom homes to subdivisions built by Toll Brothers and other national and regional builders. View properties, including undeveloped land, can still be found around the Emmett Valley, but they are being bought up quickly. A planned extension of Highway 16 from Emmett all the way through to the freeway and Meridian means that Emmett will be even more accessible and will itself have easier access to the freeway, airport, and other amenities of Boise. So that's our tour of Idaho's Treasure Valley. The greater Boise metro area offers a wide variety of housing types, definitely something for everyone. The Treasure Valley itself offers easy, limitless outdoor recreation, as well as easy access to the amenities of an urban center. We invite you to come and visit us anytime. I'm Laura Triratnobus with John L. Scott Real Estate in beautiful Boise, Idaho.